Shadak, and I want to give you a quick overview of the Thing Magic Alara Rain UHF RFID USB attached reader. It requires no host software, it's RCI compliant. It comes with four preset workflows that are selectable, and um, they include a single tag read, so just reading one tag that's near, bulk tag read, so you can read all the tags in the field. Then there's actually writing, so you can commission a tag and write to the tag EPC, or you can do tag update where you're writing to user memory. Some of the use cases um, associated with the reader are things like check-in or check-out of assets, such as tools or portable equipment that might be stored in cabinets or storage rooms. In a healthcare setting, you could use it to record the consumption of a knee or hip replacement part and then associate it with the patient and then accurately capture the charge for that replacement part. It could be added to a POS device for retail purchase where the software cannot be hosted on that POS device. You could register people at uh, an event. You could track uh, items as they move through a product repair depot. Um, you could bulk read a set of tags on items such as a instrument um, tray for a surgical kit, and you could just write to the tag EPC or user memory. Uh, there are two models, uh, high band for FCC and low band for EU that pre-certified for both of those. And we find that um, some companies have put their own sticker or a logo on the Alara, so it kind of looks like their own product when it's presented in the field. And um, if you were interested in a more of an OEM level product, uh, we also have available the EL6E, which is the board inside, as well as just the straight UHF RFID module, which is the Nano. First thing you do is plug it in, USB port of your PC or laptop, then you fire up the Thing Magic configuration tool, which is downloadable from the JDAC website. Go to the Home tab, click Get Started on the bottom left. Select Alara COM4 from the left-hand column. Uh, hit Connect. And we should watch the fast blinking green go to Solid. There we go. Then I'll go to Configure, and I will, um, under General Settings, I'll be able to choose Many things, the output power, the mode, there are four modes with Alara workflows. There are single tag reading, so it reports just the closest tag only. That's what I'm going to use today. Um, bulk tag reading, so you read and report all the tags in the field. There's tag commissioning, where you're actually writing to the tag EPC. And tag update, where you're updating the tag user memory with information like timestamp or reader's identity. So I've moved it up to 27 dBm. Uh, I can also adjust the volume of the beeper and the metadata that it outputs. So I'm going to look for date and timestamp, RSSI, and a high volume on the beeper. Hit save, success, go to results, hit start, and you can hear it's already started. And here you can see there's EPC, RSSI, date and timestamp being reported each time. And pretty good little antenna, reading pretty far. So maybe uh, 30 inches, something like that. If I want to change the settings, I simply hit stop. Go back to configure, and now I would like to um, have it read a shorter distance away. So I'm going to take the RF power down to 1 dBm, hit save, and go to the results tab and start reading. So, yeah. Reduce read range about six inches. And that's how easy it is to start reading tags with the Thing Magic Alara. Easy peasy. Thank you.